And everybody knows on the field he was an important guy. He, he was one of those guys that uh, you need on the team to be well. He, he blocked well. He, 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 was, uh, he ran well when he had to, especially short yardage. And uh, he was a pretty good receiver out of the backfield. He scored a lot of touchdowns. He's one of the top three or four guys in the history of the Riders as far as numbers of touchdowns. So he was very dependable you know, in those situations. And he ran for city council, was a council for three years, and was involved in other charitable things in the community. Uh, just a good good guy in the community, a long-time rider, uh, represented the team well, uh, both on and off the field. Defenses are kind of the unsung guys in many cases. And he was a good example of that. He was so good for so many years, and yet he never really uh, got the big accolades that maybe an offensive guy or a receiver would get. But, but he was a, sort of a cornerstone for our defense in those early years. When we started to turn it around, uh, he was such a good player on defense. And, and uh, I think because of that, our defense became gradually a very, very good defense under Richie Hall. But Omar was one of those key guys all along. He was there year after year. And, uh, and that's what you need. for you know, In a good defense, you need to have two or three guys that are there consistently. Omar was that guy.